Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 4th, and today was a lovely day outside. Um, we had 20 plus monar winds almost all day long, we had some crazy winds overnight, blew over some of my lawn chairs, knocked off a couple signs in the front of my house and whatnot. They weren't screwed up, they were just leaning against the house, kind of on like a ledge and that. And it was really interesting to open the door and find it on the ground. So, but I got up, got a few things taken care of this morning, nothing major. Um, got myself a bagel with some honey and some peanut butter on it. And Bruce and I headed over to a running trail that I forgot how short it was, to be honest with you. It really was kind of a little bit disappointing. But decided I was going to go ahead and go run long again. Um, I got to get my 52 runs in before the end of the year. And I do not see any way that possibly that's going to happen. I have screwed up way too long and kind of blew this off. And I think that's going to be a fail this year. But we'll see. Uh, went there, got to the trail. Turned out the trail was only two miles long. I knew that. I just completely forgot about it. So instead of running the trail back and forth a bunch of times, I said to hell with it and kind of ran around town a little bit. Ran around some housing complex and stuff. And only ended up as a little short section of multiple I had to kind of backtrack on once that I wasn't really happy about backtracking on. But overall, it wasn't too bad. Um, the weather was like 82 degrees, 84 degrees, something like that. The weather felt nice with the 20 plus mile hour winds. Um, it was surprisingly, it felt cool, which was way different than what I would have thought back a couple years ago in Iowa, thinking 82 degrees out running would have been absolutely miserly, and that's not the case now. So it's interesting how your body changes. I got to see one of the um, indigo black snakes over there, which is on the um, on the endangered list or in danger list. I'm not sure which one it is. It's one of the two. So um, it's it's on the restricted list and kind of thing. And I got to see one of them today, which was really, really cool. Um, I've got one of them in my backyard also, which is awesome, but it is what it is. So yeah. first time I actually seen one on the trail over there. So I was pretty excited about that. Uh, they got signs at both ends saying they have some in the area and please do not kill them because they are basically dwindling numbers very, very fast. So went ahead, um, got back to the truck, went ahead, got home, went out by Walmart, picked up my gift card also on the way to the run. For the chicken with the feather in it, um, the chicken wing, I should say, with the feather in it. Um, just, it was interesting. It was really ridiculous how that went down. But it's all, um, it is what it is now. So I got back to the house, got a few things taken care of, just kind of general life things. Um, when it has, I going to ride a bike and I decided not to. I wasn't really feeling it. I ended up with a giant blister on my toe, which is not cool. And all that kind of fun stuff that goes along with it. Bruce was out about six minutes after I got home. He was like passed on the floor, like right in the middle of the way. So I had to step over him to get past him. It was kind of funny. Like he's just like, wanted to make sure I knew how tired he was. God forbid he'd lay on his bed or, you know, lay on the couch or like that. He had to lay right where I had to step over him to make sure that I knew he was very, you know, very tired. So went ahead. He did much better today. The run was much faster than it was on the trail. Mostly because it's just, you know, concrete and sidewalks and stuff. So it was a lot faster, a lot easier to run that way. And he kept up a lot better as well. So hopefully with the cooler temperature, he did a little better. The wind, he seemed to like the wind. We cooled off on some streams and stuff for him, which worked out real well too. So, but yeah, I got back to the house, took care of a few other things, just general life. Um, found out that my house was broken into. One of my houses and I was broken into, which is awesome. Um, all the years been there, never hang stolen or hang broken too. A couple days ago, they had some shit stolen on the front porch. And then um, found out today the house was broken into, which is one of the things that happens when nobody lives there, I guess. So real estate agents suck. They have not only seen the house like three times and have not got a single offer yet on it, which they keep promising these offers that never adjust anything. So, and since nobody's living there, mom decided to go live. Um, and low rent housing, I guess, instead of living there was, um, I guess what I get is dealing with, I get to deal with break, people breaking into my house since the house is empty. So I might look into putting somebody in there to rental. I just don't want to be a landlord from out of state. So I thought about finding somebody even and tell them they can live there for free in lieu of maintenance and repairs and whatnot. And either way, I'm still paying out the, you know, taxes and the insurance and stuff on it. I just will have somebody there protecting my house, which might be a much better way to go. So we'll see. And pretty much got it figured out. Um, got to go to the beach house tomorrow and get to care of that. And then I have to go to Orlando Friday. So I guess I probably should have packed for the mountains today, but I didn't. So yeah, I'll worry about it Saturday morning, worst case scenario. So we're only leaving at like 4 a.m. I'll have, I'll get up at like three, I'll pack, I'll be fine. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.